Buongiorno a tutti, mi chiamo Gigi Sedran, sono un componente del CAE. I'm part of the uh, Words Council for ANEL and I'm part of the Words Committee for the group and I represent workers at an international level. I'm sorry for not being there for this uh, important initiative. It is highly important that we start thinking about the representation of the supply chain inside multinationals. Multinationals consider uh, their um, scope uh, of action as an ecosystem, and I consider that uh, the world of workers and their representation should be considered as an ecosystem. ANEL uh, has uh, 61,000 uh, employees and uh, hires 120,000 subcontractors, and uh, these uh, subcontractors uh, uh, work in the electrical uh, systems, uh, electrical activities that are traditional to this uh, company. And and also other activities that are linked to uh, the uh, supply chain and uh, to uh, police and monitoring. I think that is uh, really important in this historical framework to uh, create alliances uh, in uh, trade unions to represent all workers of the supply chain uh, as a trade union for jealousy or because we are uh, uh, trained at a level that is more linked uh, to um, a more conservative uh, kind of production, we should uh, think more nationally and organize inside ourselves, inside uh, companies. We, we do not understand why a worker in a company has some safeguards and those that are working on a tender have not the same protection. S if we have uh, workers that uh, do the same job, but one is uh, protected uh, through a uh, collective uh, contract uh, that is um, has huge benefits and other that are working with conditions that are only linked to the tender. So it is important and interesting to start uh, to understand how we can create this new representation inside uh, multinationals and at a national level. Creating maybe a, a system that can uh, um, give uh, protection to all uh, workers in this long supply chain because we know that uh, the uh, chain for tenders come down to the uh, self-employed worker uh, given its uh, skills as a, a client as a subcontractor uh, so this uh, can uh, be, need to be managed to give a decent work and to protect dignity as for ANEL, we have tried to grant uh, what an uh, um, observatory on health and safety at a workplace uh, in every meeting for the EWC or for a global committee. We analyze what uh, is the uh, rate of accidents uh, that occur for uh, direct workers uh, of ANEL and for all other workers that work inside uh, our group, so even for contractors, because we believe that uh, safety is an important topic because uh, uh, workers have to go back to their uh, family because uh, we do not uh, uh, leave uh, to work, but we work to, to live. And I think that we should start uh, to create an observer and a um, monitoring committee on the uh, health at workplace is something that is more and more relevant nowadays. I think that tenders and contractors should be included in our representation because our aims linked to productivity that works uh, workers in the company are dependent upon uh, what is done by subcontractors. This is an ecosystem that is becoming more and more economic for uh, direct workers inside the company. So it is necessary and highly important that we start thinking at a European level about the workers' representation inside our uh, companies and multinationals. It is interesting uh, 
uh, nowadays because inside a multinational system uh, there are tenders with other multinationals. So supply chain for Enel is de depends on Amazon. That is another multinational. When Enel on his code of ethics says that they are uh, going for a global compact and uh, they are um, complying with uh, conditions by the ILO, we know how it is not decent to work for Amazon because in all parts of the world they have problems with these multinational. When a multinational uh, that is accepting the tender is bigger than the client, then we have a problem. Digitalization and globalization is uh, um, presenting more and more this problem and with the uh, revolution that is um, advancing uh, more and more because of digitalization, uh, we have to think about what uh, is the place of workers inside the supply chain of multinationals. I wish you well and I hope that you will have success in uh, uh, concluding this project and I'm available for uh, other meetings and I'm sorry for not being present today. Thank you.